This is Professor Pelton. This is Algebra 2, Chapter 7, Section 3. This is Part 4 of the video on dividing. We're still doing rational expressions. The only difference here is we have to utilize the old copy.flip uh, for division. You don't actually divide the polynomials. You change it to multiply, and you flip the second term. So you copy the first term, change it to multiply, which is the change, and flip the second, and flip the second rational expression. Okay, and then the simplifying techniques from, the, uh, from before still apply. We can't have any common factors of one in the end left over. Okay, so let's get this all lined up. Okay, so the first term we can do quad form factoring. So that's a one right there. So we'll quad form factor, one x, one x, so 1 times negative 8 is negative 8. So the factors of negative 8 that will work here are positive 2 and negative 4, because that will multiply to negative 8 and add to negative 2. And on the bottom, we have 1x squared plus 0x minus 9 divided by x minus 4 over x plus 3. So we'll copy the original term back, x plus 2, x minus 4, over 1x, 1x. So that's 1 times negative 9. The only factors of negative 9 that give us 0 when added are negative 3 and positive 3. And they'll also multiply negative 9. So copy, dot, the divide comes into a multiply. And then flip, x plus 3 x minus 4. So as we know from multiplication on the previous section, or pages rather, that it's just one continuous fraction all the way across, because when you multiply, you multiply straight across. So as a, as a result, the x minus 4s cancel, the x plus 3 cancels for a final answer of x plus 2 over x minus 3, where x cannot equal, okay, well, if I look at it, uh, what do I really have? I have 3, negative 3, and 4. Okay, so why is that? This one, this one, and this one are the denominators. Okay, because the reality is this division. All right. All right, let's see here. Um, I think we're good there. So next one, copy dot flip. So I have seven x over two x minus ten as a factoring out strategy. It's a common factor of two. So you have x minus five times. All right. Oh, let's divide still. I'm sorry. Let's erase that. Okay, there we go. So we have a common factor of x up there. So we have x minus 6, and we factor out the x. So it's another factoring out strategy. The bottom one is a quad form factoring. So we have 1x, 1x. So 1 times 30 gives me 30. So the factors of 30 that will work for us are 6 and 5, but they both be, need to be negative to multiply to a positive and add to negative 6. Okay, so we can copy, change it to multiply, and flip the second term. Because essentially copy.flip is doing double inverses. You're changing divide to multiply, which is an inverse, and then flipping the function, which sat satisfies an inverse. So cancels each other. So the x minus is 6 is cancel, the x is cancel, and the x minus 5s cancel. Wow. So you're only left with a 7 over 2 in the end. Ah, sorry. I don't know what happened there. Where x cannot equal 5, 0, or 6. Because if you look at the terms, those are the values that can't be plugged in. Okay, lastly... We have a quad form factoring. So we have 6x, 6x. So that's 6 times negative 15, which would be negative 90. So that's 1 times 90, 2 times 45. 
uh, let's see, three times 30, five times 18, uh, six times 15, nine times 10, so that's all of them. But one of them has to be negative and it has to add up to a positive one. So that looks like a negative 10, I'm sorry, negative nine, positive 10. That'll multiply the negative 90 and add to positive one. So I'm gonna have to go over 4x squared. And this is still divided by the uh, 3x squared plus 5x. Okay, and you can put that over a one if you want to. If it's a singular term, so you want to think about it as a fraction. Okay, so the 6x and the 9 have a common factor of 3. So I can factor that out and get 2x minus 3. And the 6 and 10 have a common factor of 2. So that gives me 3x plus 5. Okay. I'll copy and then I'll flip this. So it's one over three X squared plus five X. I'll do my copy dot flip now. Okay, so those will cancel. So I'm left with two X minus three times three uh, X plus five over four X squared times I'll just you can keep the one up there, it really doesn't matter. And a 3x squared plus 5x have an x in common, which leaves me with, I'm sorry, 3x in common, I'm sorry. No, 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 this is an x, I'm sorry. I had that right the first time. So 3x squared plus, no, 3x plus 5. What am I doing? Ah! Pen's, pen's fighting me today. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the 3x plus 5s cancel. Um, and I think that's it. So I'm left with 2x minus 3 over 4x cubed. And you're like, why is it cubed? It says squared above. Well, you have that other x over here that's still left over, right? So that is our final term, where x cannot equal... Uh, let's see, what do we have here? That'd be zero, right? Because you can't put in zero to 4x cubed. And right here, okay, if you solve that for zero, you'd get negative 5 thirds, correct? So that's where it can't be, right? Because 3x plus 5 cannot be zero. So 3x cannot be negative 5. Thus, x can't be negative 5 thirds. That's why. Okay. Pause the video. Try the three student problems for yourself. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is the book will only uh, list the domain restrictions for the final function, uh, not the original uh, for graphing reasons that you'll see later on. But I expect uh, all possible values that can't be in the domain to be put. Okay, so we have a quad form factoring for the first one. So we have 1x, 1x, 1 times 1 is 1, so the only factors are 1, and they have to be double negative to multiply to positive 1 and add to negative 2. Over x cubed plus x has a common factor of x, which you can become out, so that's x squared plus 1. That's uh, factoring out, and the top one was quad form factoring. And then divided by another quad form factoring, 1x, 1x. So one times negative two is negative two. So the only factors are negative one and positive two because those will multiply the negative two and add to the one term, which is the middle term, of course, which is what it's add up to. And on the bottom, there's a common factor of three, which can be factored out. So I get x squared plus one. Okay, so we can now copy dot and flip oh 
Okay, what do we have in common? X squared plus 1 is in common. X minus 1 is in common. This looks like on the top we're left with 3 and X minus 1. And on the bottom we're left with X and X plus 2 or minus Wait a minute. We messed up on our factor. That's going to be a positive 2. Excuse me. Right? Because it has to add up to, I think I did, no, my pen just didn't put the plus in there. So that's x plus 2. Okay, so nothing else can simplify there. There's no common factors. Where x cannot equal 0, 1, negative 1, and negative 2. So you look at our final problem here. x can't be 0 there. Uh, x can't be 1 there, and x can't be negative 2 there. But then you look at this term here, and you're like, wait a minute, what about that term? Well, if you solve x squared plus 1 equals 0, you get you get i, don't, right? Plus or minus i. So therefore, that's imaginary. You don't have to worry about that one. So again, there's no domain restrictions with imaginary. I'm not talking about that. Only real domain restrictions. Okay, next problem, 4x is fine to itself. 5x and 20 have a common factor, so that's factoring out. So that's x minus 4 uh, divided by, so let's see, x squared and 2x have a common factor of x, so that's x minus 2. On the bottom, we have quad form factoring. So we have x and x. My division division's not coming out very well. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's 1 times 8 is 8. So the factors of 8 that'll work for us are 2 and 4. So if they're both negative, they'll, they'll, they'll multiply to positive 8, and then we'll add to negative 6. Okay, so we'll copy dot flip. Okay, so the x minus 2s cancel. The x minus 4s cancel, and the x's cancel. So we're left with 4 fifths, where x cannot equal 4 or 0. Okay, so you basically have a straight line where you just have holes, basically, as you'll see later on in the graphing section. Okay, so the first one is a quad form factoring. So we have 2x times 2x is 4x squared, divided by 2 is 2x squared. So 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. So that's 1 times 10, 2 times 5. But one of them has to be negative. So that would be assume that one, right? Because that would be negative 2 and positive 5. Multiply the negative 10 and add to positive 3. All over 6x. And then divided by... 2x squared plus 5x over 1, if you want to put a placeholder in there for the for the fraction. Okay, so 2x minus 2 has a common factor of 2. So that's x minus 1, 2x plus 5 over 2 over 6x, which of course cancel. And I'll copy dot flip it now. So 1 over 2x squared plus 5x. Okay, so I get x minus 1 2x plus 5 over 6x times 2x squared plus 5x of a common factor of x, which leaves me with 2x plus 5. So the 2x plus 5s cancel, leave me with x minus 1 over 6x. And you can ignore the 1, because obviously 1 times anything is itself in the numerator. Let me fix that x there. Okay where x cannot equal a couple things here. We have 0, right, because x can't be 0 here or 0 there. And then this one right here, if you solve that one, you get negative 5 halves, right, to just solve 2x plus 5 cannot be 0. So 2x cannot be negative 5, or x cannot be negative 5 halves, essentially, right? Okay, and that is the end of part 4.